What's up, Sagittarius friends? How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. I am so excited to have each and every one of you here, including the cross watchers. What's up, guys? Um, so we're going to do a fun little spread for you today about love. Finally, we're on love and relationships. Um, general messages, as always, that means that not everything I say is going to resonate with all the Sagittarians out there. That's totally okay. Never force something to fit your circumstance or your scenario. Only take away messages for your best and highest good, please. And you will know what that is intuitively. I do encourage you to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages for more clarity. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there will be a link in the description box below. Um, as well as everything else you're going to need to know about this video, the decks I'm using, the social media channels, all that good stuff. Um, so right before we start, three things. Scorpio full moon. It's tonight. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it probably will be just after it. Um, however, that energy is going to be in, in the ethers, in the atmosphere, so to say, uh, for a while, right? Scorpio is a very intense emotive sign, right? It's, it tends to be, um, a little bit bottled up though, as I said in the Scorpio full moon videos. You should check those out, by the way, if you haven't already. Um, they are already posted. Um, so yeah, that energy of intense feelings of emotion, it's going to be in the air and it's all about transformation and release. What isn't working in your life? What needs, what changes do you need to embrace for the better? And that will certainly apply in a relationship reading, right? So keep that in mind. Second of all, May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. Yay! So shout out to all the CF warriors out there sending you guys all my love, all my support. Keep fighting the good fight. Love you so much. Um, and last but not least, your feelings are valid. This is my shirt for uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, also happening right now in May. Super important topic to talk about here, and really on all tarot channels, right? Just really quick. Um, there is a very, very distinct difference between a tarot reader and um, someone who is medically licensed to deal with um, most, uh, mental and uh, emotional problems, right? It's super important to me that those seeking tarot readings know, know the line between seeking advice or guidance. Um, for everyday everyday situations that you know we may be struggling with tarot is a fantastic way um to promote self-growth self-empowerment self-love is really important that's what my spreads tend to always be about um but if you are dealing with issues that require more professional help such as oh, i mean uh, legal advice right that's not tarot uh medical advice doctors or specifically therapy though there shouldn't be a stigma attached to that you should absolutely seek out any help you need to deal with emotional or mental problems that's nothing to be ashamed of we are in a community where we are supposed to be offering love and support to everyone who's going through a difficult time right that's why people turn to tarot we want to band together and understand that we are not alone in the universe right all our stories are connected there's a reason why you're reading the comments and you say oh my gosh that's my story too yeah we're, we're all going through the same thing it's just different different levels of it etc so that being said um Moving forward, in all the videos I post, there will be some links and hotline numbers um, for people to call if they are dealing with, with issues and problems that require more than a tarot reading, right? Um, links um, to mental health websites as well as the suicide hotline, um, really important. So if you or somebody you know is struggling, please, please, please do the right thing. Show them that extra love and support. Um, you know, guide them to take that extra step to love themselves and to live their best life and seek guidance where they need it. Thank you for that. Thank you for staying with me. Let's jump into your love, uh, love spread slash reading, Sagittarius. I hate that I have to rush through that, but I, you know, for time's sake, um, you know, you get it. So what can we get for the Sagittarians, the archers? My dad's a Sagittarius. We are literally fire and water, <laughs> but I love him, love him dearly. All right, so for the Sagittarians, what can we get for their love spread? So this is uh, mid-May I'm recording this, so the energy I'm saying mid-May into mid-June-ish, right? But we know energy is free-flowing. There's no fixed start or end date, so please do bear that in mind as we go forward with this beautiful spread for Sagittarius. We got a, is that a Sagittarius card? I think it is. <clears throat> All right, we'll do that. All right, so I, I don't even know if I'm going to need clarifiers for you guys. Bottom of your deck is nine of wands, okay? So this is determination. I like that it's called determination in this deck. That's empowering. Sometimes it's the card of being defensive, of being exhausted, of, of being suspicious. I like that it's determined in this. So we'll see, we'll see where that goes, Sagittarius. 
So the U section, um, oh, we may have to pull another card here, but okay. The U section is the Nine of Cups, blessings. I love it. I love it, Sagittarius. Water energy, cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, and it's the wish fulfillment card. It's feeling all the feels of, you know, wish fulfillment, things that you've always dreamed of, things that you felt in your heart were, were what you wanted, what you were calling in. They're coming to you. Um, yeah, it's a really lovely energy. Sorry, I got, got a runny nose, guys. <clears throat> so let's see. Emotional fulfillment, wishes coming true. Sitting at your table knowing that blessings are coming into you because I'm getting that you are, you've are you been determined to do the work on yourself, Sagittarius. I know you've had a couple heavy readings, so that's, oh, I like my soul is just enlightened to see that, that there, there's some love going on here. And most importantly, that you, you are determined to either seek out the love that you know you deserve um, and just love yourself too. It's coming through very strongly. So it is clarified by loss, the five of swords. Okay. So the wish fulfillment clarified by loss. So here's what, what I get from that. What are you cutting out? What are you trying to make peace with in the past and be able to not only emotionally, but mentally move on and not have that indecision of should I or shouldn't I? That should I stay or should I go? I always I reference that that clash song, right? With the five of swords, there there was some petty conflict, there was some arguments people may have done or said things they didn't mean. There may have been some head games going on. Again, with potentially romantic partnerships, it could also just be people in your life. It could be family. But you know what? You you're reaching beyond that that bullshit. And so whatever was potentially pulling at your heartstrings of this person did me wrong, this happened, but I, there's a part of me that still loves them. Somehow you've been able to make peace with it, deal with the loss. This could also be cut your losses, understanding that not everything, not every person in your life deserves to take up room and space in your heart. There are some things that can be severed. There are, there are lessons that you can always learn from every loss, from every disappointment in life. But by understanding what isn't serving you, Sagittarius, and cutting it out, boom, you're making room for blessings. It's awesome energy. And I do sense that, even, you know, five is, fives are imbalanced. They're, you know, they're not easy numbers to deal with. Um, okay, well, two things I'm going to go with. Nine and five, right? We have the nine of cups and the five of swords. That's 14. So that is the card of temperance. That is you. Again, that balance, uh, inner balance. And just that determination, as I was saying, I love that you you actually got this card. The Nine of Wands can be a tricky energy sometimes, but yours is like victory. It's like Superman tearing off his thing to reveal that he's, you know, he's he's got it. He's Superman, right? He's going to save the day. He saved himself is what I'm getting there. He or she, right? Superman. Also, that the Rocky Balboa running up the stairs. Now I need a good, like, feminine analogy. I don't know. We'll, we'll find one later, but male or female doesn't matter. Your energy is like, I am so like inspired by it. It feels good. So your person, four of swords. Okay. So the healing card, it, it's literally called the healing card in this deck. It can be rest. It can be recuperation. Frequently it's like a, um, going, going into a more meditative state to, to kind of deal with maybe what's been some uneasy or difficult, um energies around you symbolically it comes after the three of swords which is the card of heartbreak of sorrow of sadness of depression of potentially a bad relationship it is getting over the three of swords and going into this healing state that meditative state to rest and recuperate to work on yourself this isn't a card of partnership again with fours it's nice stable and steady it's like the four corners of a house i always make that analogy there's four, so there can be upward movement once you've established that stable foundation. And again, a stable foundation of oneself. So this is coming into your, your spread as your person. And I always say, if you're single, that's fine. This can still apply. This could also be you, potentially. This could be, again, someone in your life who isn't a romantic partner, but a friend, a parent, or whatever. But for you, Sagittarius, this may be someone coming in. Um, someone who may be maybe has that mirror of they've had some some loss, they've had some heartbreak, right? These these cards fall next to each other. So perhaps um, there, there may be like a meeting of the minds, I wanna say, we'll throw one clarifier on it. Um, <clears throat> and so for those of you who are in committed relationships, 
again, it, it's cutting out maybe things. May, it could be like drama with your family, things in the past that were still kind of lingering and impacting your ability to live life to the fullest, to go after all your dreams and wishes. You've you've dealt with the loss. You're or are currently coping with with the loss. Again, you you could be healing as well, absolutely. But it, it's like you are determined to to live your best life now. You're cutting out the bullshit, the petty stuff that just doesn't matter in the grand scheme of life. So let's assume this is your person, <clears throat> your person who is in this meditative healing state of recuperation. Always always great, right, to practice self love. Wow, they're clarified by the world. As I was saying, that meditative state, that looks like exactly what they're doing. <clears throat> so this person is finding inner peace, inner balance, inner harmony. And they're sitting on a world of potential. Um, it's like this, this is it water lilies that, that bloom out of the mud? I'm sorry, I should absolutely know this. I feel like I have a friend who has a tattoo of that. <laughs> But it's that idea of growing out of the muck. This flower blooms from something that maybe didn't start off so pretty, right? And now not only has it bloomed into a flower, it's whatever they've come out of has changed their world. There's been a transition and the world is the last card in the major arcana, right? So this person has closed out a cycle, um, perhaps a cycle of pain, right? It, it involved a lot of healing in order to get to this world card, um, but major changes. Um, it's like they've excelled at some, like they've graduated from I don't know, the school of the hard knocks. I don't know why that just came through, but, but they've graduated from some major, major step in their life. They have found inner peace and harmony and they are, they're radiating light. Do you see all these little sparkles around them? But they're also attracting good things into their life, Sagittarius. See the butterflies all around them. They welcome change and transformation. Butterflies are frequently shown on the death card, which is the card of Scorpio. We are in that Scorpio full moon energy, right? <clears throat> this person has embraced death, I want to say, in terms, again, like you, like that five of swords, understanding that certain things can be tied off and severed and, and put to rest. Certain things can die off if they're not serving us. And we can also take things that aren't serving us and make them better transition transformation right death but but what comes next right what comes after temperance as we were saying card number 14 which is your card sagittarius i think this is someone coming into your life sorry sagittarius my computer froze so anyway what i was saying it feels younger in that you are both sitting on some maybe unpleasant memories of the past i say memories because of swords air energy gemini libra aquarians you you guys both may have been dealing with potentially but things holding you back in a mental capacity are both being um clarified or or vice versa with these really strong impactful healing emotive loving cards the world in the nine of cups the wish fulfillment the dream come true the having a world of potential a world of possibilities welcoming in change welcoming in like the beauty of the world nature it is actually feels very mirrored if you, maybe you're meeting your your twin flame or or your soulmate if you believe in something like that because this is bottom of the deck though that again that speaks to me that you kind of are on the same page of each other you've pay, maybe been through some battles right with wand energy that can be um, action, fire, it can be tricky, especially in the Nine of Wands there. You may have been exhausted in the past, hence, you know, the need for healing, the need for moving on. But there's a determination to go after, again, what feels good, what's going to make you happy. Go after the things that you've always deserved, things you've always wanted. And the thing is, once this, at least this person anyway, has done the work, so they are naturally attracting those things. I don't want to say they don't have to work for it, but they've come to a, sort of this inner peace, this inner zen from doing healing work. They're just in a really beautiful, mental, positive state, Sagittarius. So what is between the two of you? Oh no, the Eight of Swords, restriction. Okay, interesting. So Eight of Swords talks about um, feeling mentally trapped, feeling like we can't go left, we can't go right, we are stuck and we don't know how to get out of this restriction, a mental prison. But the thing is, it's not real. It's created in our minds. It's something we tell ourselves because there is a certain amount of risk or fear that is required to break out of this mental prison, to go after what you really want. <clears throat> but 
So what's interesting is you are both going after what you want. If this is your person, again, something about this speaks to me is that you guys haven't met yet, but it just feels like it's headed that way. What, who or what is restricting you guys from each other? Maybe you are both, if you are still recovering from relationships, potentially there's healing going on and maybe that last risk, that last um, little tinge of fear has to do with the idea of, am I ready to be in a new relationship? Am I ready to go after, and you know, again, if you know each other, am I ready to make that move of telling this person that I have feelings for them, of telling them that whatever, they are my soulmate or however deep or it is, right? Something or someone, I mean, it's, it's either both of you or one of you, is hesitant to go after a partnership with the other person. And it's being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So this is the assessment card. It's called Vision here. Um, so two things, restriction and vision, a restricted vision, a restricted viewpoint of the potential of what this relationship could offer or the assessment and, and again the mental energy the eight of swords worrying that you can't give the other person what they need or again or vice versa these stories have this weird parallel to them um and i mean if if the feelings aren't totally matched again if there's someone if say one of you guys already know this person potentially Maybe one person is more interested than the other. And so there's the assessment of, do I see myself building a future with this person? Do I have the vision of going from seven of pentacles, you know, metaphorically, to the 10 of pentacles with this person? Um, something about the idea of, is this a friendship or is this romantic? Um, now that's gonna be for some of you. For others of you, it's like you're blocking yourself. It's like you're your own worst enemy because you're restricting yourself. Again, lies we tell ourselves in our head, right? Because our ego wants to keep us in fear, right? It's that lower vibrational energy that keeps us stuck, that devil energy. If you could break free from that and see the true vision, see the true value and worth that you bring to a relationship, or again, or vice versa, the true value that this person could have in your life, Sagittarius, And I say it's that lower vibrational devil, devil energy. If we go off strictly the numbers, you have eight and seven. That's card number 15, right? It's the devil. Yeah, there, and the thing is, I don't see this relationship being the devil, right? Keeping you guys stuck. It's like that's what's preventing this, again, this merging. Even if it's just a beautiful friendship, um, it's almost like, Say let's let's say you don't know this person and you know you guys are sort of destined to meet some something or someone is is holding you up because there's this need to mentally understand that it, it's time to break free it's time to move on it's time to move past the petty bullshit and go after what you really love Sagittarius okay I mean I think your person would welcome you in. <laughs> It doesn't look like they're putting up any barriers. They come from a place of health, of healing, of rest. I, I do think this is more your energy of, of the Eight of Swords. Um, and I will say more power to you for not jumping into anything. There are healthy ways to cope with this, right? Um, you don't want to stay trapped in that fear and that mental energy. Um, but okay, here's, so here's the thing. This person comes from a place of healing too, so they that could be a beneficial person for you to meet because they are very grounded. Um, I'm not suggesting you you rush right in, right? Um, something is restricting you, holding you back, but it's because you care. You're looking at the tangible reality of things too. It is kind of it's it's opposing in that this is bullshit and fear that doesn't exist that we tell ourselves, but this is looking at the tangible, the real what's in my hand what is around me what does this person offer what can i bring to the table maybe maybe yeah you're back and forth in your head about a, potentially an earth sign this person could be an earth sign or an air sign could be they could be a capricorn as well um gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn 
Actually, you know, I mean, they're all here. You have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and of course, you are the fire sign. So what is the guidance or outcome? The Knight of Pentacles, trust. Okay. So it's kind of an interesting depiction of the Knight of Pentacles. Knights are the slowest, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, right? Um, he is very reliable, though. He's very responsible. He will get the job done, right? He, again, as all knights are, they bring movement in and out of our lives, right? Movement. They ride on horses, change, new environments. It could literally be travel, right? Um, the Knight of Pentacles, though, he gets the task done. Again, he's earth-based, so he's about the reality, the plans, the, again, the tangible results of if I, if I plant these seeds, these crops will grow, but he will ensure that they will grow. He wants to make sure that they have plenty of nutrients, sunlight, water. He has a task and he will bust his ass to get it done, but it's going to take time. Again, the slowest moving night in the deck, he doesn't rush into anything. And Again, if this energy of the Eight of Swords is more on your end, Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good thing. I do think something about this is going to require a little bit more time. How I was saying seeds that grow into something, frequently this is the card of looking at the seeds, will they grow? Assessing the future, but also not being overwhelmed about the future, about the finer details to the point where you're, you're trapping yourself in fear. Again, this could be your person, but... I'm feeling like it's more you. The thing is, you started off nine of cups, blessings. Blessings are coming into you. You just have to work out your own kind of inner demons is too harsh of a word. Those, those little things that are just still holding you back a little bit. Again, a little bit more healing, a little bit more healing. Um, and slow and steady wins the race. There's no rush to rush into a relationship, right? If you're not in one. Or if you're with someone that you really like and you're enjoying it, there's no need to rush into, you know, putting a ring on it or this or that. Take it day by day. Take it slowly. Let it bloom and blossom naturally. Earth, right? Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, specifically a Virgo card. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Trust in you. Trust in your person. Trust in the universe that it's going to bring in to you, Sagittarius, what you need, what you deserve. Um what is best for you, um, things that you may be resisting or avoiding or keeping yourself in fear, the universe will find a way of delivering to you the goods, so to say, delivering to you the crops that, that you will yield because you've, you've put the effort in, you've, you've been determined. It's really, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Let's throw a clarifier on Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Whoops. <clears throat> the Seven of Wands. Absolutely. Um, understanding that you do have the higher ground, that you are powerful, wand energy, right? This is your suit, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Understanding that even though you have six wands coming at you, it's a fair fight. Why? Not only do you have the higher ground, and not only are you riding a dragon, by the way, pretty badass, right? Spirit has your back. That's what this card says. It's a fair fight because yes, you have whatever these problems are. You have family drama, you have stuff at work going on, this, this, and that. It could be overwhelming. It could be nine of wands overwhelming, but it's not because you're determined to get through it. You got this. And even on in times when you think you don't, when you're trapped in fear, spirit's got your back, dude, dude and dudettes. You got this. You're riding on a mother effing dragon. Slow and steady wins the race. That's what this is saying. You don't need to rush into anything. Be strong in that, that fiery, that fiery Sagittarian self, right? You're the archer. Shoot, shoot your bow and arrow towards the future because there's going to be precision in what comes to you if you do the work. And I think it's this person. And again, if this person is already in your life and you're not committed, this could speak about long-term success. Um, this person is your world. This, that just came through. This person means the world to you. Aw, Sagittarius, that's really cute. They've transformed, though. They are similarly, I think they've been through some heartbreak and pain. They've come out at the other end. So let them be an inspiration to you, if nothing else. Um, yeah, I, oh man, I could talk about this more, but for the sake of time. A romance angel card to go with Sagittarius is spread here. Let's see. <clears throat> Love yourself, Sagittarius, like always. That's, that's going to be important here. <laughs> you had two cards with the same message trust 
Uh, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Two cards that indicate you need to have trust. Again, trust in yourself, trust in the universe, potentially trust in your person. Again, if this person means the world to you or could potentially offer you the world, right? Whatever that is, it's going to come into you when it's supposed to, Sagittarius. So don't sweat the details. Don't live in fear. Take risks. Break free from that, that mental imprisonment. Go after what you love. When you show the universe what you love, it delivers it right back to you. That's what the Nine of Cups is. Blessings. Blessings are coming your way. <laughs> I was thinking of Christmas Vacation. That old guy, he, he's like deaf and he's the blessings. That's what I want to say to you, Sagittarius. Blessings are coming in. If you, don't, if you haven't seen that movie, I sound like a crazy person, but it's, it's funny. All right. <laughs> Let's do one wild oracle card for Sagittarius. We're mixing this up. We're doing it differently. So I'm going to pull it here. I'll show it to you. We're going to talk about it on Facebook. So if this gave you some clarity and insight and you're good, fantastic. That makes my day Sagittarius. Uh, in which case, I will see you next week for a um, tarot spread on career and finances. If you're interested in this card, which is self-sufficiency, interesting, um, join me over on Facebook. I'm the Intuitive Teacup. We're going to talk about it there. Probably also on Instagram later, but check out Facebook first, The Intuitive Teacup. Thank you for joining me today, Sagittarian. Sending you so much love and support. Um, enjoy the Scorpio full moon, fire and water. That'll be interesting. And please do like, share, subscribe. Bye, guys.